Okay, so the goal of this review isn't to sway you into spending 30 bucks to watch a remake about Mulan. It's to make you understand that Mulan is such a badass movie. <laughs> So going into this film, I really thought I wasn't going to enjoy it. I thought it was just going to be just a run-of-the-mill remake, uh, Mulan, Disney remake. Uh, Mulan ended up being a lot more than I expected. Now, is it a perfect movie? No. I ended up having a little fun with, uh, with the movie um, as far as like making fun of it. Uh, twice in the movie and I'll just get that over with and I'll explain to you why I kept chuckling at the villain because he um, if you remember this guy he was in the uh, in balls of fury and he was just amazingly funny in the movie and every time I saw him or every time he came on screen I just chuckled and I just couldn't take him serious as a villain nevertheless he's a he's a, he's a great actor it's just my own opinion about or my not opinion it was just the way I saw him I, uh, just his performance really stood out in Balls of Fury and that's what I will always remember him by so another thing that kind of made me chuckle a little bit was whenever she was going through the training it had a little bit of uh, slapstick humor and I was it kind of took me out of the movie a little bit I was not expecting it but then I remembered that you know this movie really did have some crouching tiger hidden dragon moments in it which kind of le leads me into another thing or well, I'll talk about it in a little bit but yeah that that moment whenever she was training and then you know they move on to side characters side characters having a little bit of a slapstick moment there and I was like uh, whatever it's funny it's it, it's it was a little bit unexpected but I guess for the movie and it, for the tone of the movie it works it just for a second it just took me out of the movie and I was like okay what is going on here and then I'm back in the movie so first off I gotta talk about the main character uh, Mulan played by Liu Yifei if, if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly I am so sorry but she did a phenomenal job she portrayed the hell out of the character she was funny when she needed to be she was serious when she needed to be and she kicked ass when she had to. She committed to the role and every single stunt sequence that she was on she performed marvelously. Alright so I'm gonna include the rest of the cast in this whole bunch but you know I have to say that the cast was very well chosen barring the uh, the main villain in the, in the movie. I mean yeah he, kid, he did kind of make me chuckle but nevertheless he did work for the movie for the for the story and he did a great job that was just my issue that he it made me chuckle because he just reminded me of the of you know balls of fury and i just i just couldn't couldn't detach myself from that so awesome cast awesome choice for every single one involved and they all did perfect so when it comes to the secondary villain um i'm not i don't remember her name but you know you obviously know who i'm talking about if you've seen the movie if you haven't seen the movie then don't worry about it you'll know who it is so there's a little bit of foreshadowing in the first act when you first meet her and you kind of get to see what where she's coming from, why she is the way she is and the foreshadowing I'm talking about happens in the first act but then it, hap it the event happens in the third act but the thing is is that I saw that third act event coming a mile away from the first act. Now, foreshadowing is great, but what's when it's in your face and you can see it, then I'm not sure you're doing a good job with um, with writing the story. So maybe do a better job at that cuz yeah, that was just too obvious what was going to happen. One thing I really have to talk about is just how the story was told. Some companies or some production companies or some writers, some directors, they all like to include a little side story, a little side plot element or side um, side character exposition that is needless and it's, it's, it's not necessary. But I am so glad that the writers from this film did not li uh, did not do make that mistake, because it was perfectly told. 
the story stuck to the point which was the story about Mulan and Mulan only. Now yes you can have some exposition from the villain or some some other character that is important to the story but whenever you start giving us exposition or ex or uh, side stories that about side characters that don't even matter then that that's not that's not a good idea but I'm again I'm so glad that the that the writers chose not to do that in this film because that is that just makes the story move along quicker and it just makes it move along move along more smoothly so I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about the movie because as you know I really love this movie and the more I talk about it the more I want to get into spoiler territory and I just don't want to do that for you because you should watch this movie. There are people out there that are saying that it's not a good movie, that it's a dull movie and the things that they are saying that were bad about the movie are not true and you know I guess to be honest with you, okay, if you if you don't like the movie, fine, that's great. Except that this is actually a good film, <laughs> okay. Now I can understand some people, whatever they say that they don't like a film, and you know maybe I, you know whenever they point out specifics, I can tell why they don't like the movie. But in this case, where where some people were giving me some examples of why they didn't like Mulan, it's that's not true. It did not move slowly because it, it moved progressively. It was not long of a movie. It didn't even feel long of a movie. It moved along perfectly. It was told properly. It was executed almost to perfection. But it is a good movie to watch. So, whether you want to spend the 30 bucks to watch the movie, that's on you. I'm just saying I had an amazing time watching the movie so I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 that's my score I hope you liked it uh, this coming weekend I will try to squeeze in a review uh, before the camping trip on the 18th well no the 19th is, is the camping trip so yeah I'll see you uh, I'll see you next the video. You guys have an awesome day, evening, night, or whenever you are watching this movie or review. Peace.